What's up guys, it's Bryce here from Rideshare Shrimp Tiles. Today's video is not super exciting just because my snakes haven't eaten and I'm going to show you how I assist feed them. Why it's not exciting is obvious because obviously I want them to eat on their own and I don't really want to help them because it does stress them out. I cannot stress how important it is that this must be a last resort for feeding. I've received animals that have been on feed for nine months but those are adult animals and then they come on to feed when they come into my care and that's perfectly good and I did not assist or force feed those. Whereas in this case these babies I hatched out and I've tried pretty much everything to feed them. I have tried feeding them live and it didn't really work. None of them have eaten or even really had an interest in eating. Assist feeding is very stressful on the animal and I don't recommend you do it. It's a last resort guys. Please do not just try it because your animal hasn't been on food for a month. These animals I can see really need the nutrients because it's a win lose situation because I don't really want them to die. Well, I don't want them to die at all, but I'm losing in the fact that I have to assist feed them. But anyway, let's get into assist feeding these animals. A few things you'll need are the defrosted pinky rats and then possibly a tweezer, maybe some tubes and then disinfect yourself with F10 or whatever you choose to disinfect yourself with because you don't want to pass on anything into the snake because you're going to be handling the pinky rats and basically putting it down the snake's throat and you don't want any germs going into the snake so let's get into it okay so let me get the snake out we'll start with snake number one I've got the enclosures right next to me and ready or should I say all the tubs to put them back in once they have eaten guys so here we have the first little patient the first snake I hate to do this to them get the pinky out the defrosted rat pinky um, boys, I'm gonna try give it a little tease see what the snake does you want to start out with really small stuff to to assist feed But these guys generally like biting in defense so it's been long overdue since they had their first meal well they've never had their first meal so we are going to help it out so what I'm going to do now is dip the pinky in some water to act as a lubricant and guys if you're squeamish for this sort of stuff please do not watch because the pinkies do get all bloody and that when they went and go in the snake's mouth but basically I'm wanting to neck and try get the animals neck straight as possible so we can get it down there okay and then what I'll do is I'll take the rest of the body and hold it like that and now I'm going to take the pinky's head over here and rub it against the snake's nose it should open its mouth then so you kind of rub it gently there we go see the snake's mouth opened like that because it got irritated I just didn't stick it in quick enough oh I can feel the pinky's brains popping gross okay there we go it's not that simple so I've got to kind of push down the snake's throat. You've got to be very careful of the snake's muscles. There we go. And just like that. Gently pull it out and then let the snake. There we go. You will probably have to rub it down, but I'm just going to see if the snake's going to try and regurgitate or just 
start swallowing it on its own. If it starts to try regurgitating it, I will then push it down to the rest of the body. This is a small little snack just to keep the body going and I will keep offering it food to take on its own. But it looks like this little snake is not sure what to do. At least it's not trying to spit it out. This is always very stressful for me as well as the snake. So they have muscles in their neck that you've got to be very careful about. So I'm, when I pushed it down the throat, you squeeze the pinky hard so it makes, so you don't pinch it with the tweezers. You, or should I say, you don't hurt the snake's neck with the tw your tweezers, okay? No, no, just be gentle, be careful. Please guys, if you haven't had experience or ever done this before, don't do it on your own. Go to someone more experienced like the breeder you bought the snake from and ask them to do it and show you how to do it. And it takes a few tries of you seeing how someone has done it in real life and give um, and been given tips from that person before you should actually try it on your own. It's best to leave it up to someone who has done it before. It's busy swallowing, yay, that's a great thing. So obviously nutritional wise that pinky is not going to do much for the snake but it's going to keep it going until it starts feeding on its own so i may have to force feed it again but we'll see hopefully it'll start eating by itself okay so let's get this snake away so here is patient number two guys what i have previously done is i generally stick the a rodent in the mouth of the snake and that's all and then generally I'll see if they swallow it on their own I'll try that with this one because this one looks like it has a bit more weight to it than the others but the thinner ones I just generally do it straight away as in do it I mean I push it down the throat because as soon as they start spitting it out again it makes your life more difficult and more stressful for them when you have to pin them again and then shove it down their throat again and that's not nice okay so let's take this pinky tease the snake a little bit to see if it wants to eat on its own Ooh. and as i said before i think i've said before i have tried most of the ways you can think of to feed them before i'm doing this this is a last resort definitely and I absolutely hate doing it okay this one doesn't seem super bad but then again you never know okay so just trying to get the snake to relax a little bit it's okay so it can get its neck straight This black background is definitely going to need a wash as the water's spilt all over here and there's gross little pinky parts and stuff. Let's just see if it slithers through my hand nicely and then I can just grab it. Come on. You don't want to slither. There. That's nice. Keep the neck quite straight so you can push it down if you need to. But as I said in this case, this one I'm just going to get the shoulders probably into the throat and see if it swallows it by itself. Dip the pinky in water again. And come on. Also, this is not a video on how to do this with venomous. I've never force fed a venomous and never necked one. So please don't take my advice on necking at all. I can feel the snake squealing too much. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that to me. No, you're gonna hurt yourself. Please. No. The snake is definitely a lot stronger, which is good. Come on. The shoulder on the side was stuck. Do you see that little air pipe? That's how they're able to breathe while swallowing. So be careful of that, you don't want to touch that with the tweezers. 
Here we go. Okay. No, 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 don't spit it out. Okay. So that's why we don't do that with the other snakes that are skinnier because then you may end up having to do this again. This guy's a little bit fatter, so should be okay. Okay, so now we'll have to push it down his throat again. Get the neck nice and straight. Take the rest of the body. Hold it there. And now we're going to do this again. Let's see if I can get you a nice close up. I need to wet this again as a bit of a lubricant so it can slide in there nice and easily. Come on. Open. Open your mouth. Well, my bad, I missed that. Come on. I know this is so terrible. I'm just a mean, big, bad Bryce. I'm sorry, but you have to eat. Slowly and gently. There we go. Okay. Don't try and spit it out. Don't try and spit it out. You can do it. Swallow it. If they don't swallow it on their own from here, you'll have to start massaging it down the body. Generally, they do start swallowing it here though. I think he's busy considering what he should do, he or she. So, as little movement as possible is the best way to do this. No? Sometimes they just realign their jaws because I've just had to open them wide. Okay, it seems like this one's going to try spit it out. Let's see, hopefully not. It's a lot harder for them to regurgitate than it is for them to swallow their meal. Their muscles aren't as used to doing the regurgitating part because they weren't designed for that. This is one of the reasons why I'm not too sure if ball pythons are the best beginners snakes just because they do tend to be picky feeders but in that case they are very great feeders once they are on food so guys as you can see i fed all of the snakes well you didn't see that but i did feed all of the snakes you only saw a few of that but it takes a really long time this is one of the things that i absolutely hate about keeping snakes because it's not nice to stick something down their throats and like feel like you're suffocating them and being all the big bad wolf to them Poor little, oh, <laughs> my own hair is tickling my nose. So I just want to say this is something that happens from time to time when you are breeding snakes. Not really if you're keeping one or two pet snakes, but if you're breeding them, it sure does happen. Because if you're keeping a snake, they're generally a lot bigger, if they're your pet snake, that is. And if they do go feed for eight, nine months, and then you get them onto feed, that is a lot easier. Whereas these guys, they don't have much nutrients to start off with so you kind of got to give them that little bit of a boost. So it's been quite a while since they've come out of the egg and quite frankly I wasn't really pleased with their health because they were getting pretty lethargic and their skin was starting to like almost what looks like warping because it looks all crinkly because the snakes are a little bit malnourished. But yeah, that's why I had to do this. I really don't enjoy doing it. I do not advise you do it at all. First find a mentor, they can teach you how to do it. But if you wanna see extra things on how I do it, this is the video, you've obviously watched it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy sticking the pinkies down the snake's throat, but at the end of the day, I do enjoy keeping them and keeping them alive, not letting them die. So that's a good thing, I guess. So it's kind of like a win-lose situation, but you do win more than you lose. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new around here and remember to go out, learn, explore, inspire. Cheers guys.